Hi friends, today we're going to be walking through some areas inside Operations Hub in Designer. So you can see there's a number of areas on the left hand side and these are all in support of building end applications. The first area we're going to visit is Entities and this is really for storing some supplemental data for use in apps as well as defining shapes of data. Queries can be used to uh, both interact with data including getting and modifying data. And finally, we're going to spend most of our time looking here in data sources, which is really our mechanism for connecting to external sources of data to pull them into Operations Hub. You can see here that we have a variety of uh, data source types, and in particular, we've built special connectors for connecting to GE Prophecy products. I'm just going to pop one open here and take a look at this historian server. Uh, you can see, that, again, that we have a variety of products in our product type. And we have different ways of actually connecting to Historian, including through their system API and through their REST connection. We'll go ahead and take a look at another product. So here we're going to look at an example of OPC UA and connecting to Simplicity. So as before, there's some basic connection details all right, down below. And there's also some authentication information for connecting to that OPC UA source. And finally, we're going to take a look at an example of connecting to a generic relational database. Uh, we provide support for connecting to Microsoft SQL Server. And as before, there's connection details and also authentication information. And one of the great things about Operations Hub connectivity is that you can actually go ahead right in that page and test uh, whether all of your information is correct. So in this case, we've changed the credentials and obviously the test failed. And there you have it a variety of different uh, ways to connect to different data sources to pull in data into Operations Hub.